the Mujahideen Khalq group sided with the Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein when the Ba'athist regime attacked Iran in 1980. The group claims to have fought for the Iranian people. Yet, it has the blood of thousands of Iranian civilians on its hands. This year, the annual three-day meeting of the MKO terrorist group is hosted by Albania. The group gathers hired supporters among several former and current American and European officials to deliver paid speeches. This year, several high-profile Western politicians, including Slovenian Prime Minister Janez Janša, a number of U.S. lawmakers, as well as former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, are among invitees. The Slovenian Prime Minister Janez Janša also delivered a speech at the conference. That drew harsh criticism from Iran and promoted the Iranian foreign ministry to summon the Slovenian ambassador to Tehran. In a statement on Sunday, the ministry slammed the Slovenian prime minister's move as unacceptable and undiplomatic. Angered by the participation of Iranians in the June presidential election, Pompeo claimed that the vote was a boycott. The program of sanctions and pressure employed by the Trump administration needs to remain the model for engagement with Iran if we want to ensure the security of the American people and better lives for the Iranian people. In Washington, D.C., there is much consensus, as evidenced by the overwhelming support for the sanctions regime that we put into place. In response, the Iranian foreign ministry spokesman said the MKO is a terrorist cult having the blood of Iranian people on its hands. Said Khatibzadeh denounced Western politicians, including Pompeo, for selling themselves cheap to the Europe-hosted circus. He also accused the West of shameful hypocrisy driven by an insatiable thirst for money and anti-Iran obsession. Well, I think it's fairly obvious that the MKO is being supported by the Western countries because it is essentially carrying out imperialist interests. Obviously, the MKO is right there in design in order to overthrow the Iranian government and place some kind of uh, cult activity inside the country. I mean, it, it's very clear that they're, they're being used as a proxy force to fight the Iranian government. Iran has always complained that the West's support for a terrorist group such as MKO violates the UN Charter and international norms. The Mujahideen Khalq organization has conducted numerous assassinations and bombings against Iranian statesmen and civilians since the 1979 victory of Iran's Islamic Revolution. Out of the nearly 17,000 Iranians killed in different terrorist attacks over the past four decades, about 12,000 of them have fallen victim to the MKO. MKO's rift with Iran worsened when its leader, Masoud Rajavi, aligned with former Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein in the eight-year Iran-Iraq war in the 1980s. MKO received funding, weapons, ammunition, vehicles, and the use of land in exchange for its support for Saddam. Despite all the crimes committed by the MKO, it is not currently listed by any Western country as a terrorist organization. The European Union and the US that often claim to be anti-terrorism rather removed the MKO from their lists of terror organizations in 2009 and 2012 respectively. Ever since, the West has changed its stance toward the MKO, propagating it not only as an opposition group but misses no chance to fund the group and lobby in its favor by putting a blind eye to how the MKO spilled the blood of innocent people. So this is a, a long-standing policy by the United States, and it shows that the U.S. is not interested in fighting terrorism whatsoever. They're very fond of being able to use terrorists to their own ends, uh, to carry out their own means whenever it's in their interests to do so. The West's support for the hated MKO group has added to a more feeling of distrust among Iranians toward the Western governments. West support for a terrorist cult only exposes their double standards when it comes to terrorist organizations.